Many of our features are enabled by our new digital vehicle platform. This new electrical architecture sends signals much faster, provides state-of-the-art cybersecurity and over-the-air reflash capability. What's up, guys? As you've heard, the 2020 mid-engine Corvette will be implementing over-the-air updates to reduce dealership visits, and that requires cybersecurity. Just imagine you're driving and all of a sudden your car shuts down, or worst, it got possessed because some hacker got control. To solve the problem, the E99 ECU was developed to provide the necessary security features such as VIN-specific encryption and a manufacturer's access code. Well, that's fine and dandy, especially when the LT2 V8 engine produces 495 horsepower and 470 pound-foot of torque with the Z51 package and should be enough power to satisfy most people's needs. But there's still a few who want to extract the maximum horsepower out of this engine and now unable to since we no longer can access the ECU like pass cars with a tuning device to reflash it. Or are they lying to us? The E99 ECU seems like it's gonna spoil the party, but this is not the first time it's being used because it appeared in the 2019 C7 Corvette ZR1. It took an aftermarket tuner like HP Tuner some time, but they were able to crack it. You've probably already seen some modified ZR1 videos making close to 1000 horsepower. So being that the C8 is expected to use the same E99 ECU, it's most likely going to be a similar process to the C7 ZR1. HP Tuners offers the E99 ECU modification service and the tuning device, so I'll list the process including pricing which might be different for the C8 but it'll give you a rough idea and as a heads up to you guys, by modifying your ECU, you'll be voiding the warranty on your brand new C8 Corvette. The first thing is you'll have the option of sending them your ECU as a core to modify for $2,000 or keeping your ECU and having them provide you a modified ECU for $2,500. You'll have to provide your VIN number for this and I think the $2,500 price might be a better idea if you plan to return your car back to stock in the future, enable updates or have as a backup. Second thing is you'll need to buy the HP Tuner's tuning device. They use a credit system so you'll be able to buy credits at $49.99 each in order to access certain things. In this case, in order to tune, you'll need 10 credits which will cost you $499.90. You may also need an additional 4 credits to tune the transmissions so that'll be an additional $199.96. You can also add the optional pro feature, which I don't think you really need, but that'll be an additional $249.99. The HP tuner pricing doesn't include shipping, so you'll have to get a quote to your address for that. Third, the engine immobilizer is tied to the ECU and installation of the modified ECU requires an immobilizer relearn by the GM dealer tool. Luckily, the relearn functionality is also available to certain independent shops this price will vary depending on your dealership or shop, so you're going to have to call and get a quote. I'll use $200 as a rough estimate. Fourth, you'll also have to take into consideration the cost for a tow to get your car to the place you're getting the immobilizer relearn done. And for this, I'm going to roughly estimate $100. Fifth is the cost to tune your car for maximum power and drivability. This will depend on your tuner, so I'll roughly estimate $400. There are also a couple of other steps you'll need to do, but the items I discussed are the most involved and expensive. So the ECU modification will cost you roughly $3,000 and more depending on which direction you choose. It's really not a matter that it's difficult to tune the C8 ECU if this will be a similar process as the C7 ZR1 Corvette. It's just that it's going to cost you thousands of dollars to do it and it voids your warranty. So now that I've probably answered your question of if you can tune your C8 or the C8 Corvette is untunable, hit that like button and share this video to support my channel and also let me know if you're willing to pay this amount and void the warranty to gain more performance out of the LT2 in the C8 Corvette. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.